<laughs> oh, hi Claire, hi. Hello. Thank you, welcome again. Welcome to this wonderful day. And today is Friday. Um, what's the date today? Me. The 16th or 17th? 17th. One and oh, seven, wow. eight. So that's a great number um, to be doing this show. This is a show. This is TV. This is a show and it's full of fun. <laughs> uh, that's what we want. So we would like to welcome Claire Batchelor again. And she gave us lots of tips last time about how to be healthy. And today she's got, she said, a niacin bath. So maybe... Yeah. You Tell us a bit more about that, which is a way of uh, getting rid of toxins. So yes. I think that's what we all need in this day and age. We need to detox, and that's a wonderful way of doing it. And it's not causing you any problems. So, um, so you can maybe talk about that. And I'd like to welcome April again. April is a well-known artist, and she's done beautiful <laughs> canvases. It's like massive ones. Okay. Every time you introduce me, you introduce me as something different. So you should, you should, you should be glad I'm doing this. I, I remember. you would be so glad. Because April, she's exhibited in New, New York, isn't it? Um, all over, I exhibited. Yeah, she's like, did these massive canvases. And, and they're sort of healing canvases, aren't they? And you sold a yeah. few. Um, yeah, the missing elements. Yeah, uh, uh, she's got so many skills. I mean, I can't remember a lot of them every time. Yes, I'm a mystic. That's easier. But I should introduce myself. I'm a, <laughs> I, uh, I'm a hypnotherapist, and I've done loads of healing. Uh, but I'm, I think doing. Danielle healing. lives in a lighthouse, a real <laughs> yeah, lighthouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we've been on television. We've been on so many TV programs and. The last one we were on uh, Doctor Who before the lockdown, so um, yeah, and we've been on this journey. Frank, um, <laughs> April, and I, we've been on this journey for years and years, and yeah. um, and we know you, Claire. I've met you years ago. I met you, so uh, so let's start, you know, and we'll get to know you as we go along. So um, my husband is doing DIY, so that's the noise. He'll stop in a minute. So Claire, yeah, tell us about your niacin bath. Well, it was a niacin flush. Um, oh, sorry, <laughs> or flush, yeah. Ordinarily, I'd um, take it with a sauna or working out, but I've just been for a long walk with my dog. So I took, um, took 1500 milligrams. They suggest you start with say 250 milligrams. So I just um, had the flush whilst I was walking my dog now. So it's, it, it opens all your blood vessels, brings all the blood to the surface, breaks open all the fat cells. It's, it opens up all the detox pathways. So um, it gets everything moving in the body. And it's so important to detox now. So I do that quite regularly. Uh, so how many how many times a week do you do that? I was doing it last year. I was doing it every day because the the thing with niacin is consistency because it actually it does regulate blood sugar as well. And because I was working out most days and doing yoga, um, it it went alongside with that. And I was sweating, and my protocol involved my my meditation during my sauna. So I was doing it every day. But now I'm probably doing it three or four times per week. So, uh, can you yeah. tell us what is it you take that gives you the flush? Niacin. So niacin is a B vitamin. It's a B B three. Yeah. Um, and there's two. But parts. is it? Um, what is it? A tablet you take and you just open it and sprinkle in your in a glass of water? Yes, it comes in a capsule form. I I just I swallow the capsule. So um, I was having a twenty five milligram capsule. So I was taking about 20 of those to get um, a, a good dose. Then I had a 50 milligram capsule. So I was taking um, a bit less of those, but now I'm on the 500 milligram caps. So I took three of those today. And, well, um, how, how long have you been doing this? 
Nice in um, probably over a year now, really playing around with niacin. You start the protocol is to start small, and then yeah. and then as you Obviously. go along, then you you need more to flush. But um, it's phenomenal, phenomenal for top detoxing. As I mentioned before, they were use, using it for the firefighters of nine eleven because they were desperate to um, detox and. Dr. Yu, he's got a great detox protocol on YouTube that um, talks about all of this. Uh, so, can you spell um, his name? Dr. Yu, I think it's just Y-U. I'll have to check that. Doc, um, yeah, I'm sure it's just Y-U. So he's on there with David Wolf. Oh, David Wolf. Okay. Yes. Um, would you suggest that we all do this in, in this amazing time that we're living in? Everyone is scared. Yeah, <laughs> everyone is scared, you know. Uh, maybe we should all do that and, and detox we, inside. Um, well, yeah, it's so important to detox now. However, I will say, depending on where you are, um you know niacin whatever you have inside is going to bring outside so if you've had something even years ago for example if you had psoriasis it can it can flare that up because it's bringing it all to the surface and when i had my the second time i took niacin i had a huge emotional release it was phenomenal so i think it's important to be prepared for what it might bring up um, because the more the more say toxicity you have got the more the, the, the more challenging it can be but I'd already done a lot of work so and I was prepared with the the um, techniques to go alongside if anything came up yeah so, and that, uh, yeah it's difficult if you've got children to look after and all that but it's the same thing with homeopathy you know is some of the remedies can cause mass eruptions you know but you have to be prepared yeah. and if you go on a detox as well you know you need to kind of uh, chill for a couple of weeks but if you're desperate you you must do that you know you yeah. must you must detox i've been telling all my clients first thing is to detox first thing is to remove all the allergens like wheat and sugar and so on yeah. Even though if you're diabetic, you're, you know, got all sorts of problems. If you can do that, the first step is you will feel so much better, you know, but people haven't got the motivation. The, this, that's the problem. If you know that you can see it through and you can get good health, you know, people Absolutely. will do it. Yeah. And I think even for many years, I, you know, experienced on and off uh, depression never had an, another day of depression in my life with niacin and i and i feel it was the heavy metals niacin gets rid of heavy metals and it's it's a long-term thing if you've got say leaking al amalgam fillings and things like that um you know it's, it's a protocol that it, it's ongoing really but I, yeah that's I feel... wonderful um would you be able to say a little something about anxiety and depression before we go on to other topics because so well, many people are depressed. And what we are saying, April and I were saying, you know, this is the time to be joyful. You know, yeah. there's no reason why we should all, we should go down. You know, we should all join the herd, you know, <laughs> get herd immunity through joyfulness <laughs> and happiness. But obviously there are people who can't be happy because they haven't got this, they haven't got that. But we can be happy just going for walks and take our dogs and if you haven't got a dog get one you know get a puppy that's what i say <laughs> the government i was listening to radio four and the chap there was saying that during the second world war uh, people who can have a pig was given a pig so they would feed the pig so that gives them a different way of concentrating because they have to look after the pig and feed it mm -hmm. and then when the pig is big enough they can cut it up and eat it but, uh, but right. he said, it's like the Sarah Bullock film um what was it called 20 28 days did you ever see that 
Oh, I can't Great remember. Great film mm. where she goes into rehab, and when they leave rehab, the two things that they were told to do was one buy a plant, two buy a pet, and they had to learn mm. to look after those two for twelve months and not to have a partner until the twelve months had finished. Wow! And they yeah. just have to look after the pet. So that, by then, mm. the relationship within without a deal i love that film yeah yeah that's yeah, a film amazing. we recommend to people to watch because in this day and age now that's what we need we need to have a pet and we need to plant something as well yeah that is that is good advice isn't it wonderful yeah. Yeah. so <laughs> what, uh, okay sorry <laughs> we've digressed. Are you going off tangent now? <laughs> no, we've digressed anyway. So, um, so can I ask Claire? Yeah, Claire, yeah. where do you get the niacin from? Do you use a particular brand, or is, is any brand okay? Um, well, it's it's good to know that there's there's two forms of niacin. There's niacin flush effect, and there's niacin non flush effect. Um, the better one to get hold of is the flush effect because you're going to get the detox um effect from that whereas I, th I think a lot of people didn't like some people who don't like the flush um that's why they made the non-flush but you're not going to get the same uh, detox effect as the flush so i was using a um dr clark's it's called but that's they don't seem to be making it now There's, that's been put yeah. on hold with all the um yeah. lockdown so I do have, that's why I started using the 50 milligram. That's, um, I'm trying to think of the name now. It will come, Health Leads, Health Leads, that's called Health Leads. Um, but I did notice that has a funny taste. And um, then there's the 500 milligram, which I use. And I, I'll have to look that up. It's um, down. If you, could, so, if you could let yes. us know. So when the video goes live, we would april would just write down where to get certain things yes okay yeah wonderful Fab. so but you, i love you, that about the pet yeah you've got one haven't you yeah i've got my dog i've had him many years now so um yeah no partner in my life and happy that way <laughs> yeah just love yourself this is the, the thing is we yeah. all need to love ourselves you know, exactly it's all about it. we are the ones you know we come forward. down we it's come cliche, down with no one no one else to be with us we're born and our thoughts are uh, belong to us exactly so, so just love yourself and if you can't do that just pretend <laughs> just pretend you do <laughs> yeah it. Right. and then it'll become yeah. a habit Fake it until you make it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always say when you're truly connected, you don't you don't need that um, with anyone else. I mean, I think we spend so many years of our life searching for that, but when we really have that connection within ourselves, we then that we just that's when we stop sit, want, craving that need for that um, partner and. Uh, it's uh, a bit of also, a... also because when we have a partner there is something missing in us and when we then you know all all the time we pester them we nag them we we criticize them you know like because mm. it's something in us that's lacking you know we exactly. ask them to do things and instead of us doing the stuff so if we were 100 percent full we wouldn't need to so that's why my advice is to get yourself full you know not half glass full but actually full glass exactly yeah and and you're doing the right thing by looking after yourself by detoxing and and just getting a connection with um, the almighty <laughs> yeah it's all about the connection with self and source and i and, and yeah. i feel when you're when you're aligned then all the relationships you attract you you attract people who are aligned and it's just um right. it's beautiful yeah so yeah tell us about your raw um um what's it raw works again again raw works. okay um 
Well, yeah, Raw Works really um, had that vision over 10 years ago um, that was born through my love of cacao. And um, that came to me and it was really, um, so Raw Works, spelt with an X, was a, it's, it, it was really had two meanings. So Raw Works, it works, Raw Living. And um, it, it, it's really the works. So it's really to encompass and include everything to do with raw, the raw living lifestyle. And, I, I um, think that's a really good contribution that you are making. And I hope people who watch this video will go to your website and get some. Because as I said last week, it's marvelous. It's really lovely. It's got this really lovely taste that you know, oh, thank you've you. managed to create. <laughs> so we've talked about that before. So, uh, so what I want to connect or oh, ask you today is more about your revelation because you said you've got loads to tell us. <laughs> Did I? Um, <laughs> what was that about COVID? I think Danielle means about yeah. Or or, or or it could be your connection with angels or. You, it could be a connection with what you've seen, a connection with UFOs, a connection with a piece of advice you could give to people. Because like I was told, we were talking about depression. So mm -hmm. if we can find a connection with ourselves, that's the way forward instead of just giving people drugs. So the yeah, NHS yeah, yeah. really should make that step instead of, focusing on drugs and supporting the, the those companies and they create yeah. side effects from drugs because with my clients i see this because they say oh yeah we've been and the drugs don't work and they give me side effects that's the way forward you yeah know. i say meditation not medication that's a good that's a good thing <laughs> yeah. so what kind of meditation helped you well, um, in all honesty, uh, what we we covered the um, the sham the shambuva um, if I'm pronouncing it right shambuva um, the mudra I I, I um, talked about last time about looking up into your head so when you're meditating just the whites of the eyes are showing so I I do that and um, I these days I, I find myself following a lot of Joe Dispenza meditations. Mm -hmm. Have you done many of his meditations? Um, I haven't done many, but I know who you're talking about. No, I haven't. Yes. Oh, Joe Dispenza. Yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. I think that's the start. People should start to meditate. You know, do it like ten minutes which is not very much and then you you ne do the next step you do courses the next step you do you um, learn a particular therapy and the next step so it's got to be in steps but people don't but think it's, yes it's all coming out though because even weight watchers they brought out meditation as part of their whole wellness um thing you know in weight watchers can mm. you believe that wow. on there yeah yeah so that's what the nhs and matt hancock should be doing you know instead of saying oh yeah drugs vaccinate vaccinate you know why can't they say improve your immune system take niacin but do this all the different steps yeah exactly i think it, it for me personally, it comes down to looking after the gut. Um, so meditation, but then when you when you look after your gut, where your immune system is held, um, everything follows on from there, really. And uh, I spent many years looking after my own gut. And you know, when looking at the brain, the, the, your gut is actually part of the brain. I, it, they consider the gut the second brain. Mm -hmm. uh, when we're born, the actual egg, when it splits. It's it splits. It starts off as the the brain and the gut are actually one. So I see the, the gut and the brain are, are the, the one brain. <laughs> but I, fundamentally, I see the heart as as our main brain. When when we're when we're really heart centered and when our heart is really activated, the intelligence from the heart is f far more greater than the brain can ever be. So and I find that is the true power in raw foods is that it, it puts you 
in your right brain, but it, it also joins the left and the right together. Whereas the cooked food, um, it keeps people stuck in the left brain, and that's and we are basically ruled by a load of left brain politicians, and we have been thousands so of years. So that's now. why we need women like you to be to go into politics and change things. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm saying that for my son as well, for young people to go into politics because that's what their job is. Those people at the top are from the old school you know we are all awakened we're awakening therefore we need a different path well it's it's what we see now isn't it it's the the breakdown of society as we as we know it i'm, sh I'm sure april knows yourself april with um as looking at it astrologically um mm -hmm. this this year of 2020 has been foreseen as the year that everything is is breaking down we, we do have a new system being put into place um we have the splitting of the worlds between 3d and 5d as dolores cannon spoke about and um for me that split is seen with people who are wearing masks and non-masks it's the you know we have this massive divide right now between the people who are awake and who are not awake to what's going on that's how i see it Oh gosh, it's been predicted, and this break was predicted 30 years ago, apparently, in a book. Um, mm -hmm. um, they're saying that it will carry on. It's a reset. It's not just um, um, spiritually, it's to do with the flow of, on Earth, that there are stages every 100 years that there's a stage, so it's a reset. And the I think what's his name Hamilton chap who's from uh, Hong Kong I think he's quite well known as a multimillionaire and he was talking about it on YouTube saying the reset will take five years so so we're going through this period of transition and at the end of five years it which is be 2025 uh, that's when the change will have the changes will have taken place and then we'll start a new season yeah and i believe that that coincides with when pluto moves into aquarius um pluto is moving into aquarius is it 2024 april oh, oh gosh i can't remember <laughs> i think I as it finishes yeah, it's right about then yeah yeah but i told april about you how you you're very uh, you're knowledgeable about astrology you know so, ooh, oh, you, know, I love astrology. About, you know you know all about the degrees and so on uh <laughs> yeah uh so yeah in five he he's saying the book predicted this 30 years ago that we would go in, it's a reset button 2020 and we will then come out of it 2025 there'll be mass unemployment there'll be you know people dying and so on uh, so uh you know five years from now is not long is it you know if we remember 2015 it wasn't long ago was it so five years will, will happen very quickly yeah it's not long at all um well even by 2021 next year i think we'll see massive shifts there, there and i think once these big planets start moving forward again then we've got the jupiter pluto uh, conjunction again in November I think after that we'll see massive shifts next year I think there's going to there's a lot going to come out that's been hidden so if we don't finish what we'll do is start again <laughs> if you want Claire if you still you want to carry on talking we can yeah people, are you okay to restart again what do you mean start again Danielle you know it'll run out it, you know no it'll restart again because we we've only got like nine minutes okay well, as you want um so yeah tell us more about the, these changes i'm i'm really interested the changes astrologically yeah well i think um yeah i think this is the one of the biggest 
greatest shifts of our lives. I mean, I think we're all pretty lucky to be here now witnessing what, what is going on. And I, I think I, I, I touched on it last time without sounding um, a bit out there. I think, you know, uh, this the whole earth that we've lived in for thousands of years has been controlled by um, a fourth dimensional reptilian cult and um it's basically falling apart now and i think it's only um dare i say his name trump he has part of the white hats who is bringing this down and exposing so much and basically uh, covid has been a massive distraction for that and the places that we see now going into lockdown places like melbourne are uh, they're, they're actually they're bringing more children up from tunnels so the um the it's not the covid that we should be looking at it's, it's the actual um human trafficking that is the massive problem that is not being shown in mainstream and the exposure of that this year with the as jupiter and pluto have conjunct and if you think of pluto being about power and everything hidden and jupiter being about expansion um so we've had a massive light shining on that really everything is coming to the surface and it's not only that it's in capricorn which is about structure and saturn has been home in in capricorn so everything all everything that's been going on for so long is is now being exposed well yeah and, and, and a Pluto lot of people a sexual thing as well isn't it so if you look at the press there's been a lot of you know the epstein stuff andrew yeah. prince andrew stuff there's a lot of sexuality embroiled in all this, you know, the dark side, isn't it? That's what yeah, it, it's huge. <clears throat> yeah. 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 And, uh, Jay, can, I, can I just ask you, for somebody listening to this um, that thinks, God, this is far out, you know, children coming out of tunnels, where is the evidence? Have you seen any evidence of that? Yeah, I've, I've seen reports mainly because if you if you really look into it in depth you'll realize that the media are owned by deep state yeah. i mean when you look at the entanglement that the network of control that we've been in and we don't even realize we're in the programming um everything is controlled by a few families at the top and that is all coming apart at the seams and there's so many people coming out um even this morning i've seen videos of hundreds of police vans, is it the Germany or the Netherlands on the Rothschild, um, what they ha use as the human hunting ground, they're there. Everything's being exposed, but it's not in mainstream. So if you look elsewhere, I mean, Twitter is, is really my new source of news, but it, it depends who you're following. Um, and then there's been people coming out from the actual, um, who work for the FBI, paedophilia um kind of departments people mm. coming out and so many um youtube <clears throat> videos interviews people exposing this and showing the evidence but it's you have to dig for it it's 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 there when you look for it um mm. and yeah, i can give uh, you many names yeah mm. can i just say they don't want it they don't want it to be in the national media because then it'll alert all the pedophilia people it's best to keep it secret because then we will get to them because if you have it in all the newspapers they'll find somewhere else they'll find the dark web somewhere else but if you you we um the government or you know people at the top they keep it secret then we would get them and this is what they've been doing secretly getting those people it's only now and then like in germany they've uh, uh they've arrested a few of them and confiscated their assets i just uh, wondered you know i'm i'm just um, being the devil's advocate oh yeah yes that's fine this would think well no you know, where can i find evidence of this actually happening it's all over it's on youtube it's i know people might think it's conspiracy but if trump is saying that we we've arrested a few of these people and in america they are being prosecuted 
but mm. you can't oh, make it, it say it yeah but you can't yeah. make it public because these people will find other ways of hiding and just like i know wayfair you know they're saying oh, well wayfair oh, oh. i know you know, can, <laughs> you know you know we can't Buy be true yeah you know yeah. <laughs> they're saying you know, we can't be true but who knows unless you dig further but i think it's fun to kind of have a dig at those people a dig of at amazon mm -hmm. and make them look at those um, items being for sale you know, and on Twitter, my um, sister-in-law, she's got a large following regarding, you know, child abuse. Wow. Uh, and they were trying to get it seen or um, they were trying to get Parliament to do something about child abuse, and especially during this time now little mm -hmm. children are being abused not just by pedophiles but by their own parents mm. you know it's not just sexual abuse is it it's that mm. emotional abuse as well and mm. uh, now you're hearing a lot about people getting involved you know just people who haven't been abused th themselves mm. uh, <laughs> taking up the case you know, mm. so we've got like two minutes left. Um, did you want to come we, back or shall we just end this interview? Claire, can you hear? I, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm happy to carry on or whatever you want. Yeah, I think it's lovely to chat anyway. So we'll, uh, yeah. we'll have part three. Okay. <laughs> um, so, um, so with the um you know because you're a follower of events you, you mentioned know. evidence so i'd yeah. like to talk a bit more in depth about that if that's yeah, okay yeah yeah no, we'll, we'll do that in part three okay part three okay. so we're just chatting now and, to, and then we do part three where you talk about evidence um, okay fabulous uh, so uh, so just let's do something light-hearted you know like what's the best film i know april mentioned 28 days do you have a film that you you really you know think that that's gonna make it's a game changer um film <laughs> who did i hear just bought out a new film <laughs> oh david Wells just bought out a new film 11 11 i think it's called in iceland i've not seen that i just thought i'd mention that because that's new um but uh, i think there's usually a lot that you can find on the gaia tv network Do you watch that no 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 i'm thinking about more mainstream <laughs> okay um mainstream there's one that i'd like to watch it's, it's been out a while now called jupiter send in that's very astrological <laughs> oh did i see it I I so. no Who, who stars in it claire who's in it i'm not sure but i've been told it's, it's good um so i'd like to watch that so i might i'll, I'll make an effort to watch that soon I'm just trying to think oh yes just I, to finish just, off just to finish off one song that's a, a, a life changer a song <laughs> 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 Power. <laughs> um, a song. There's so many, anyway, so many beautiful songs. But um, uh, what song, April? Anything that springs to well, mind?